Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play uh, Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition with Leon the Bard in charge of his party trying to find traps and solve the puzzle. Well, the puzzle is... Uh, it's not that difficult. We need to figure out the history of this place. Right? Broadly speaking. Let's see. Like a god of battle, Duelak waded into a drow horde slaying thousands. Let's see, uh... Vizslethimi was no match for the mighty Durlak. The dragon's spells could not harm him, and her breath was a gentle breeze to Durlak. It came to pass that the hero Durlak and his men-at-arms, Arlo Stoneblade, venture into the bowels of the Great Rift. They fought the hideous Tanari Akhtletek. Yeah, I think that's... that's a, with a single blow of his axe, Durak slew the demon's body and entrapped its soul in an, in, in an enchanted dagger. Which is what we were sent here by that other dwarf we found in uh, Elgoth's beard. And Durak moved through the troll mountains, killing all of the foul beasts. When you read the final book, you hear a click, as if something has been activated. A few seconds later, you hear a humming sound. You can see a glow coming from across the hallway. Can I? Dulak's pride. You have raised my deeds in glory, and my sword now glows with pride. Yeah, that's a uh, sin, buddy. Yeah. It's a nice sword, though. Alright, is this a shortcut? Doesn't look like it. Looks like death. But then everything looks like death. What is it this you have but to ask? But that's basically life in Dulux Tower. Getting up, death, 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 lunch, death, of tea. Great peril yields great beauty. And I probably have to go on because otherwise I might yes. infringe copyright you have on but that. To ask. Oh. Eat flaming or skeleton uh, warrior. Frosty. Death! Skeleton warriors, as I recall, are slightly more dangerous than the average skeleton. Ooh, we've had two levels. Sweet. Alright then. Let's level up. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Alright, fight a level. She gained uh, reduced taco, gained more hit points, safest breath weapons. No further skills. So she's now a little bit beefier. What is your taco anyway? Uh, twelve. It's not that great. Yeah, uh, you're equipped with the best weaponry I have, though. You don't have any weapon style bonuses. Hmm. Oh well. If at first I don't succeed, the wife won't let me forget. Yeah, that much is uh, that makes sense. Right. So what are you gonna get? Thacker is by one extra hit points, more lore, which is totally useless on him. And he doesn't get any more skills, so there's that. Your taco is now eight. That's kind of better. Well, in comparison to mine, she doesn't hit any better than I do. She hits a little bit better. His taco is amazing. And you can barely hit the broadside of a barn. But thankfully, we don't really count on your skills you can't live without at the a throne of darts. Not, you really be, uh, not that there really is any use against the skeleton, because they get a damage reduction, I believe, for darts or any ranged weapon of, of, of the piercing kind. I suppose if you could throw hammers at skeletons, that would be very effective. Luck is always on the side of the wherever fate takes me. But alas, there is no throwing hammers in this game, as far as I know. Uh, broken weaponry, I don't need. Potions of speed I'll take. Ooh, magic arrows. 
magic arrows plus two in fact. Just from a cursory glance. Uh, the difficulty is still set to low again because I want to learn that spell. And now it can back, go back up to normal. What is it? I shall attend to it. Right. Let's move through yes. the hallways great of death. Peril yields great beauty. Mustard jelly. Yes. What is your bidding? Luck be a lady. Alright, I'd hope that'd be more effective, but at least I used up a wand. And freed up some space. Luckily there's still plenty of wands to go front go around. You rang? Alright. Yeah, that won't really do anything though, I think. And these things have uh, Magic resistance. That's all, folks. Oh, it comes down back, comes back down to regular old steel. Life is you know, your effect not nothing. very effective for that one. Though. Luck be a lady. How may I be of assistance? Luckily, so far, this thing hasn't been able to do any debuffs on us. On us. Yes, luck be a lady. You know what, just shoot at it. I know your weapon is ineffective, but we'll get through the regular arrows a bit faster. And besides, there's plenty of arrows to find eventually. Right now, I'm just a little bit more worried about inventory space. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. What is your bidding? That's actually a bit dangerous. I really should. Great peril yields front. great beauty. Right, there's definitely something deadly over here. <laughs> Lots of deadly things. I've got a lovely bunch of deadly things. Here they are, all lying in a row. Big ones, small ones, this one crushes your head. And now they're all gone. Alright, let's just yes. move into the central chamber. To ask. Now that we've uh, dismantled these traps. Uh, yeah, more darts. I don't... Do I need identifies? I suppose I might as well keep them. Yeah, more darts of stunning. Sure, why not? Actually, Nira, you keep these. <laughs> right. Nothing else to replace. It shall be as you wish. Let's have a look at the test here. Alright, we see several warders, which prevent us from going down to the next level. Life is adventure or nothing. Great peril yields. Each one of them beauty. has a riddle we need to solve. And if we've solved all four, they will let us through. There or are attack so us. So many places I would rather Probably be. both. Or neither, really. I haven't decided yet. I don't really want any more protection scrolls, but I'll take potions of Master Fevery. Those are always neat. And here's the handle for the uh, the uh, the mallet that we need to make. How may I be? It's always a uh, tricky one to find. Right. Ice arrows, potion of heroism. Who could benefit from a potion of heroism? Oh, you can. If you can still move. And can you still You've move? As good as done. Yes, you can. What is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. Alright, let's trigger these. Yes. Uh, I shall attend to it in a trice. After they uh, first give us a riddle we need to solve, 
by uh, finding f certain pieces on the level, and uh, once we have found them all, we need to talk to them in order. I am the warrior's curse. I steal his future. I mar his past. The more he has, the less it seems. He becomes the slave of glittering things. Yet I hunger. Feed me that which glitters beyond all else. I am the warrior's fate. I raise him above his brethren. I amplify his deeds. He becomes scornful where once he had respect. He becomes a giant where once he was a man. Yet I lack the proper honor. Raise me up in glory. Through the chronicles of my deeds, pride shall be honored. Through, through the passing of knowledge, my sword shall display its glory. Then you shall know that I am well pleased. Now, yeah, we have already done that one. I am the warrior's madness. I curse him with trust and respect. I slow the blade in its course by stealing his passion for blood and offering a softer emotion in return. Yet I thirst for more. Give me the sweet crimson drink of laughter and passion. Alright. I am the warrior's bane. I live in the darkness of his soul. I bring him to his knees, trembling and weeping, unable to lift a hand in his own defense. Yet I sleep. Awaken me! How may I, I kind of don't to want ask. to. Alright, so we've got pride, greed, uh, sloth, I think. It's basically uh, four sins. I need something that glitters. I need to raise the chronicles of uh, the, the, the adventures of Dorlag. I need some wine. And what was the fourth one? Can't remember, but I'm, I'm certain I'll find it. Yes. After all, I can't really go off this floor until what I find is it. it. This? I shall attend to it in a trice. Now, there's obviously a secret passage what over is here. Wherever fate takes me. Yes. Life is adventure or nothing. No trap. I'm disappointed. Wherever fate takes me. How may I be of a? I shall attend to it in a trice. Ow. <laughs> All right, everybody, stop. The storm is always pluck, be a lady. And that's what you get for getting complacent. It's better to die on your feet than live on your knees. Yes, she is. But no dying just yet. Click on someone in your own size. May Aurel bestow the frost. On our enemies. Nature servant awaits. Thy vulgar prepping buttocks. What is it this time? Right. The essence of great that's peril yields great enough for beauty. now. Right. Let's yes. move into the bed chambers over here. You can't let great peril yields great traps, yes. beauty. Right, more spells, more arrows. I know those arrows. Those are neat. And shiny armor. Yes, these are arrows of destination. Now I've got three. But it's always a question if I want to turn my uh, archer into a uh, into a wizard. Throwing fireballs wherever he can see, or wherever he cannot see. All right, I already know confusion. This is feeble mind level five, and turning the mind of men feeble. This seems appropriate, actually, for a bard. I don't know this one yet, so luck is wherever they takes me. All right, more bolts. And finally, the armor. Alright, let's identify the bolts. This is the practical defense. Blade mill plus three. Very nice. 
requires 11 strength. Well... You still wear plate mail, plus 2. You wear full plate, you have full plate. What is your strength? Exactly. Oh, maximum. Right, then you can do should do you are the perfect target for this. Uh of course you will need to drop that. Yep, definitely better. Actually this is probably worth more. Eventually I will need to get rid of something. Right, so now she has almost as good armor as the rest of the class. Very good. I need to start using stuff, otherwise I will never get rid of my inventory. Yes. Luck be a lady. So, potion God Master Thievery. At best. Luck be a lady. And and you are now overweight. That's that's not what I meant exactly, but still. You have but to ask. Life is luck, be a lady. Alright, this has grapes, which we'll need. Uh, magic sling and magic bullets. Nope. Alright. I need to get rid of something. I hate it tossing on the ground, though. But I just don't have the space or the weight. Actually, these are rings. Can I put them in my inventory? Yes, I can. Alright then, that solves one problem. And what was I doing? Oh yeah, you can carry the grapes. Yes, great peril yields great beauty. And this is a scroll of mental domination. Again, feels appropriate for a bard, but I don't think he can use it. No, it's a... Uh, it's a priest spell, I think. Yep. Yeah, that's nice, but I'm not gonna use that. How may I be of assistance? As much as I might want to. Yeah, inventory management is gonna be a bit tricky. Which is kind of why I'd hope to be able to sell some stuff. But uh, apparently I would have to go either all the way to back to Baldur's to Gate for that. Or all the way to High Hedge. And I really don't want to do that. Because that's just such a long way around. It's another skeleton. Well, actually a skeleton is not that dangerous. That's barely even a threat at the moment. Hmm. I need something else for that. Let me something. Yes. Right, I need to find a key. Life is it luck, be a lady. Oh, more skeletons. Oh, that's a skeleton warrior, actually. By tempers, I Valkor's uh, mighty blade. Cleric use. How may I be? You have but to ask. <gasps> what is it this time? I don't think I can turn the uh, skeleton warriors. What is your command? If Tempus wills it. They have slightly too many hit points for that. But that's yes, alright. That's not why we're here anyway. Alright, that's another secret passage. And here we have loads of riches! Of which I don't care! Alright, fire arrows. 
I'll take the gold. Lots of arrows of some kind. And ah, here's the odd looking key we needed. A small shield. A pearl necklace. Uh, there's some nice loot here, but I'm probably not gonna need it all. But anyway, that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.